to my channel. Today's video is going to be on this classic smoky red lipstick look. I've done this makeup look actually for my unboxing video that I did not too long ago. I just changed up the lip color. I have never been a fan of red lipstick before ever 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 in my life and I think the reason why is because I've never found that perfect red lip shade and I feel like truly I have finally found the perfect Red. This one is from Too Faced Cosmetics. It's from their Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick Collection. And this one is called Lady Balls. When I saw this red lip shade, I was just so shook. And I was like, okay, Verdi, like you actually have to try this one out. Like just give it one more chance. And I did. And now I am just so hooked on red lipstick. But anyways, I'm really excited for you guys to see how to create this makeup look. And if you are interested in learning how to create this makeup look, then just please keep on watching. First thing we're going to be doing is applying moisturizer to the skin. This is the Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF Moisturizer from Dermalogica that I use in all of my videos. For primer, we're going to be using the Too Faced Hangover Primer that I am obsessed with. Literally, I am almost out because this stuff is literally no joke. It keeps your makeup locked in the entire day. For foundation, I'm going to be using this Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation from Maybelline, and I am in the shade 228. I will be blending this all out with my $1 Wonder Blender from Miss A that I swear it is just as bomb as the original Beauty Blender. For concealer, I am going to be using the Anastasia Concealer in 1.0 and also the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair Neutral. I do like to go in with the Anastasia Concealer first, and I do blend it all out with my wonder blender i do like to apply the anastasia all over my entire t-zone area and then the tarte shape tape in fair neutral just underneath my eye area because i really love that to be super highlighted and bright not everyone likes that but i do so that is the reason why i do this extra step now to cream contour the face, I will be using this L'Oreal True Match Foundation in N8. I do like to use foundations to contour my face way more than I do cream contours because it does last a lot longer. Not to mention it does make the blending process a lot more easier, especially if you are a beginner. So now to set the entire face, I will be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I will be setting it with my Wonder Blender all over my entire eye area, especially my T-zone area. And then I grab a separate brush and I just set the entire face all over. To contour the face, I'm going to be using my favorite bronzer from Too Faced Cosmetics. This is the Chocolate Soleil Medium Tan Bronzer, I believe. If not, I will list it down below for you guys. I do apply this all over my forehead and also my cheekbones as well. Next, taking my Shade and Light Palette from Kat Von D, I will be adding a little bit more of that middle shade. I do like my cheeks to be super defined. To warm up my face, I do like to add this Dark Tan Mineralized Skin Finish Powder from MAC Cosmetics, and I do like to apply this on my cheeks. This really gives me a feel of a bronzy look for my skin which is why I love doing this step so much. For blush I'm going to be using this Makeup Geek blush in Heartthrob and of course I'm going to be blending it all out into my cheeks. Moving on to the eyes I'm going to be using this Real Her first eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be taking fine and I will be applying this all over the entire brow bone. Next, taking Havana from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I'm going to be adding this shade into the crease and also on the outer V, dragging it outward just a little bit to open up the eyes. Now taking Espresso from Anastasia Beverly Hills as well, I am going to be doing the same thing like we did with the last shade. We are going to be adding Espresso midway through the crease, but mainly on the outer V. I really want this to be the darkest part of the look. Before we add black, we're going to be taking this strong shade from the Real Hurt palette. This is just going to be a guidance before we add the black. Now taking the black shade from this palette, which is called Smart, we are going to be adding this into the outer V to add more definition and depth into this look. Since this is a smoky eye look, we really want to be super intense with the black, especially on the outer V since it's really going to open up the eyes. Taking that courageous shade from that palette, we are going to be adding this just a little bit. You do not want to go too intense with this shadow. I just added a little bit of a hint of that courageous shade, which is kind of like a goldish bronzy tone. Now taking Espresso and Havana, we are going to be adding that to the lower lash line, but mainly focusing the black and Espresso on the outer corner. 
Now taking this Illuminate palette from Sephora, I will be adding this highlighter shade into the inner corner. I really like my inner corner to be super bright and pigmented, which is why I do add Fix Plus to the brush. I'm also going to be dragging that highlighter shade a little bit onto the lid with that other shadow that we applied and mixing them both together. I will be adding this to the tip of my nose and also to the bridge of my nose as well. For liner, I will be using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I really want the thickness and fullness of this liner to be mainly focused on the outer corner because like I said before, we are really trying to go for that super smoky cat eye look. For my bottom liner, I am going to be using this NYX Gel Liner and I'm going to only be applying this to my waterline. I'm not going to be smudging anything out. For lashes, I will be using the Slay Lashes in Toxic. I get asked about these all the time, so I will leave the direct link to purchase them down below in the comment section for you guys. I just love these lashes so much. They're perfect for this makeup look. For highlight, I am going to be using this new San Marco Paris Highlighting Palette, which I am obsessed with their packaging. I talked to you guys and showed you guys this on my Snapchat. The powders are super buttery and creamy. It is just perfection. I love these powders so much. As you guys can see, I really, really did love how they turned out to look and last but not least this awesome amazing obsessive red lipstick that i just love so much this is by Too faced cosmetics this is the melted matte liquid lipstick in lady balls i can definitely tell why they named it this way because this is such a badass lipstick i swear Alright guys, that was it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it this has to be one of my favorite looks i've done so far, I feel like now that my techniques and my makeup looks have progressed, I've finally conquered how to rock the red lipstick and I'm glad I never gave up on it because now I absolutely love red lipstick and it's just my favorite now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye guys.